what's going to be a real detriment to this matchup is if at any point, yeah, that Lord Ted gets the Ice Climber separated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it will be really bad. So Matty G is going to be able to, let's see if he can mitigate this. You know what I'm saying? Already it's getting started. Like the Ice Climber getting separated. And this is what he's aiming for. So he knows the matchup sort of, but you are on ice, my friend. Oh my goodness, the back air, 87. And uh, also, what's going to be bad for Matty G is like, do you actually, how many ice climbers have you played? That's the thing, <laughs> right? Like, how could you possibly prepare for this matchup? You're not going to find too many ice climbers online. This character is extremely hard to be ready to desync for and kind of get all those follow ups ready online with being frame perfect moments. So it's going to be a little bit rough. And, you know, we had that hard opening from Matty G, but just a few hits, like you saw 25, 85% combos from ice climbers. So this could be a thing. How is he going to recover, though? Does get back doesn't take the opportunity to hit Nana out of the way, and I don't blame him. I mean, it's it's crop, right? Like, if you're right. hit off stage, you're not coming back, and Ice Climbers can definitely expose that. We're gonna see some conditioning here as well. It's just like, oh my, look at this! This is what I'm talking about! Like, one person got hit back, the other person was charging his match attack. Like, how do I, how do I get around this? Like, I don't want to get hit by this. Definitely, you know, and it, it's now understanding, and I feel like Manny G's gonna have to take this opportunity to learn, but it's okay, not gonna be able to make it back. You know, we were talking about this not so great of a recovery now being able to be exposed. You can hit um, Nana out of the way before hitting Sopo, but hey, he got it. The air dodge works. He's getting the opportunity and got the percent lead, but as I'm saying that, that side special is a huge start. It's a big combo, but was able to snap out of that. You know, multi-hits in this game, not going to always connect. Yeah, and this is what the, the conditioning part I was talking about. It's like, on ledge, how many times are you going to get hit by this side B before they try to set you up with something else? You know what I'm saying? Yes. But look at them fighting each other, and this is the this is the detriment I was talking about. Lord Ted, you're down one ice climber. You're sister? S significant other? Uh, yeah, I thought we were doing it. It's never really been but, you know, we're just going to say friends. We'll say your friend is gone. <laughs> we'll get through that. Now, we, you know, you know Sopo does have some options. You know, a lot of people tend to be like, all right, it's alone. Let's just get through it. But Sopo has amazing skill power. I've seen it. That, that fourth smash is definitely a big hammer to the face at already 85%. So if you're going to be forcing yourself on this character, that might be what he wants. But, hey, that back air going to not give that chance. And that scooped him from the bottom. That was a, that was a hella, hella, hella range. You know, here we go. Got a shield option coming out so now uh, both ice climbers are back so let's see if Lord Tech can uh you know get the stock off oh but look at this uh the side beat try to circumvent and now do we see um girl whoa that was a little bit you know a little scary because not only was that dark, dark like down smash coming but they were able to react immediately right after the down smash because of so oh I'm not doing anything but that fair was the Perfect time to come out from Matty G just because this entire time Matty G has been staying on edge, kind of waiting, letting him come back, respecting that. And the perfect time to go off stage as an edge guard is the most unexpected time. And I'm, because of that, caught that jump, was able to seal it out. I'm not going front. I was quiet that whole time because I felt the fear when, like, they desynced and they were just charging. And I'm just like, okay, so how is he going to escape this? Is, oh, no. is he actually just going to die here? But Matty G handling it excellently, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, making sure that he gets the Ice Climbers separated. And I was going to say it again, man. It's always going to be a thing with Ice Climbers to make sure that Definitely. they're together to get the maximum damage and the maximum use out of both of them. And I see the poking tools coming out for the Ice Climbers. The side B, the, the ice. Look at that. The desync. And, and you're just getting caught in a whirlwind of, in this blizzard. I thought it was supposed to be cold outside. The Smash Brothers action is hot right now. But Ice Climbers cooling it down. Oh, my goodness. 110 to 0. Do you finish it off with a with nine? Okay, I was gonna say. That's <laughs> you know, Ice Climbers it. trying to show that they are at Frostbite for a reason. Cause them the Frostbite. Indeed, it's getting chilly in here on Battlefield. See the ice in the background, too, because it's kind of nice. But definitely an amazing start compared to what we saw last game. Great recovery as well to kind of mix up that side special to go upwards. Didn't even know that that was a thing. So it's nice to see characters like Ice Climbers out here showing some work with that up air, which is a detrimental, detrimental. I can't say talk today, de man. De de I can't talk. That Detrimental. <laughs> I'm telling you. And like the fact that like he got hit by the, the, the second ice time, not even the first one, the move whiffed, but it didn't. Like that that's the type of stuff you gotta worry about. And now Ted ahead one stock and uh, here we go, the poking tools. That chill out Batman, that ice ball, man, that uh that uh, what is that? I think that's that uh what happened to your shield? Yeah, let me tell you about though that ice. It really does an amazing job at just kind of shrinking and shredding that shield. But good stuff to Manny G to use that sword to kind of get to where you want. Now, these platforms have been helping Lord Ted like crazy extending combos, but also helping 
him land. And I feel like that's been his biggest problem yeah. uh, the last game because Krom was just so fast to be everywhere. So it's nice to see that we had that landing option being added to Lord's head. Now let's see what he can do here with the grab. Of course, Nana being a little bit far away wasn't able to do anything off of it, but just getting that little bit of a stage control and it just might be a setup here. Another edge guard situation. You don't want to hit that up, B-Girl. That was the devil's word. Watching that man get frozen like that is, is pure just terror. And at 150, Okay, this could be a setup. Now wait, I love how, you know, Manny G tried so hard yeah. not mashing. Just yes. waiting and be like, okay, I'm gonna try and bait out the move. But, you know, when you come out of that, you're gonna have a little touch of frames out of just kind of coming out. So you're gonna have that exposure to getting hit. So good stuff to Lord Tenta realizing that, staying calm about it, and then reacting only once he saw the animation. Yeah, you, I would think that Manny G kind of like gave this, uh, like uh, Lord Tech kind of uses as a counter pick, like, hey, I can actually utilize the platform. I would think that it would kind of be a escape for Matty G to make sure that he can, you know, kind of circumvent getting combo, but right now, oh, and you killed the wrong Ice Climber, and, uh, hey, he says, we gonna swing for the fences, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Matty G, Matty G showing why Krom is such a threat in this game, able to really take out stock so quickly, even with such a lead as well, and you were talking about how one, 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 one Ice Climber's down, it's gonna be hard for the S to come out of Ice Climbers, man, like, half of you is missing, so it's a little bit harder, and he here comes the percent. This could be the stock, but no. Great mash and timing to get out of that situation. But that up air, don't forget, it's not only hitting once, it's hitting twice. So it's double the damage, and you're getting that knockback. See, and this is kind of just what's frustrating about the situation. It's just like, I'm trying to run away from you. Right. One, one move is whiffing, and I'm getting hit by the other one. Like, I can't, like, keep up with this, and the damage is just stacking and stacking and stacking. And, like, when I can't get y'all separated, this is the type of situation it causes. So now... Here we go, game three between Matty G and Lord Ted. Lord Ted, he's cooling big time, and Matty G got to be a little bit on edge, maybe. He handled that first game pretty, pretty well, so let's see if his game plan has adjusted in this game three situation. I feel like Matty G is a very calm player. He's very good at analyzing and understanding what has just happened, even when he wins. You know, he understands what's going on and always searches for improvements. So let's see, taking him to a stage like Smashville is going to give less platforms, but also more a little bit less room for Ice Climbers to get away from him. He's going to be able to really continuously keep pressuring Ice Climbers and racking damage, but don't forget, you're also helping out Ice Climbers, right? Yeah. You're giving them less room to chase Krom. It's really going to give them an opportunity to get in and have that platform to escape just to give a little bit of a switch. Yeah. Oh. And I, like, I was going to say, I like the chase down for Maddie G, making that, now that they're separated, he's going for him and the poke and the back air. What do you do here? Right, and waited for them to, uh, to side me on ledge because he knew it was coming, all the conditioning happening, and more pokes. Doesn't want to overcommit to anything, and I would, yeah, I was like, get, get, the, get, get the friend away from here, get him away. Did you see Nana try so hard trying to get back to his friend? I'm coming, I got your back, sister. I'm helping. <laughs> it just was not happening. Maddie G showing now how important it is to keep these friends separated. Right, and uh, also 65%. Right, so 101, and he's doing just an excellent job in the chase down. So, yeah. Matty G, what's the move here? And he just opens him up. He's like, look, we'll forward smash right here for the call out. Now I'm comfortable, comfortable, feeling real warm right about now. Is Matty G up two stops to one, even in high percent? As I say that, this man says, you know what? You're a friend, so here's the homie stop. Yeah, unfortunately, that ice cube causing a little bit of buffering air dodge off edge from Matty G. Going to lose that stock, but this could be a big opportunity for Lord Tech to bring this back. We saw the combo potential, so this could be a huge opportunity. But once again, back to this ledge guard situation, Matty G has just been kind of keeping the ice climbers apart and keeping them off stage, and that's the worst possible place for Ice Climbers to be, but here comes a grab! Oh, oh no, boy, I, I, I saw from a mile away, I was like, bro, they're actually about to chain grab this man for the cheese. <laughs> but unfortunately, did drop the combo, now this is a big opportunity. Girl, you, oh, saved your friend! Let me tell I got your back, that is the best doubles play you could probably see. I know doubles was yesterday, but we're still getting some entertainment today. Wow, then just using the upbeat to make sure that he, like, he tethers her, her partner. Very, very nice, and oh, here we go, now they got the separate and hey, which one do you go for? The and jab, the weight, and I thought the back air was coming after that, the shield. All right, 126, so what's the move here? You gotta play really, really carefully because now you are uh, in a crom in a hard place, my friend. 126%, so you gotta be careful about what your next move is. You can't be sent too far off stage, otherwise you'll just end up dead, you won't be able to recover, and you only have yourself. So let's see if uh, 
Okay, <laughs> now before I finish that sentence, uh, good uh, stuff by Maddie G. I was just standing.